Hi, I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilt's creativity expert. All right, Erica, tree skirts are one of those projects that are so difficult to cut and sew. Like what shape should you right. use? How big should it be? Does it need to be quilted? So many more questions. That's right, but we've got the Go Tree Skirt Wedge Die to help you create fun seasonal projects in no time. All right, let's get the die and okay. cut some shapes. Perfect. Now. To start cutting the wedge, mm -hmm. we measure from here to here right. and just rough cut width of fabric strips. Okay. You want to make sure you have that lengthwise grain. Yep. I left the salvage on so you could see what it looked like. And what I'm going to do here, let's make sure is we get yep, over the line edge. this up here. Yep. Okay. And we're going to do two colors. You could do four colors. You could make it scrappy. Sure. Whatever you want. All right. And now, Erica, I'm going to leave the rest of this. I'm not going to cut it off because we have kind of a cool trick to yes, show everybody. Yes, we do. We do. Now, since this is on a 10 by 24 die board, it's going to work with our Go or our Go Big or even a studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. Now, that method she talked about is the cut and flip method. Let's show you how we do it. Okay. Right. So we started here. We're all ready for our first cut. And notice we've just tucked that fabric next to the die. We didn't put it on top. Uh, you could always cut up to six layers. That's right. Perfect. All right. So we'll give this a little oven slide. Don't lift that mat off. All right. Now, Erica, I'm just going to very carefully pull these sections out. Okay. And I have found, and I think you have found as well, is if we just moved it down, then we would waste all right. of this fabric in the middle. So I'm going to take the die and I'm going to flip it. I found it's easier to flip the die than the fabric. Than the fabric. And then I'll let you line okay. that back up. So now we're ready. And this is going to ma maximize the use of our fabric. We're just going to make sure we're just covered over there. Yep. Let's trim this off. I'll take this side. Okay. Perfect. And we'll readjust our fold on the side, put the mat back on it, and we're ready to go ahead and cut again. Perfect. Now this is a method I use a lot when I'm cutting triangles, when I'm cutting tumblers. It's called stack or cut and flip. Cut and flip. Okay. Okay, here we go. Take this off and we'll show you how that worked. All right, Miss Erica, let's pull okay. this back and take out our wedges. So you would continue to cut all of your wedges. That's right. And, and so little, so little left over, so little waste. Yes, we're gonna trim it. And then I found when I got to the bottom because we started from the salvage edge, right. there was enough to open it up and do two wedges. Fantastic. All right. So let's right. lay it out, Erica, and figure out which pieces uh, we need to go together because I pinned them. I'm so proud. I know. <laughs> you want to start at the center yes. and pin out so that you're sure that everything stays in the right place. Right. So I am going to, the next piece would be red, okay? And then we need another section of green and red so that yep. it'll match up to the end of our circle. That's right. So I found that if I pinned them, then I knew which side I was going to sew on. That is very clever, yes. And you're right, we start from the inside and work our way out so that that inside circle finishes perfectly. Yep. And then I'm going to do the same over here. This is such a great chain piecing project. Oh, absolutely. And Erica, I did backstitch every time I started and finished a seam. I did as well. All right, Miss Erica, so you need a total of 20 wedges. So we have 16 already sewn together. Okay. And we pressed one direction towards the green. Okay. You could press your seams open if you, you could. wanted to. You absolutely could. So we're going to press, let me get this pressed. And then I'll add it to our circle. 
fabulous. Now we're only doing two colors, but I could totally see it as scrappy. You could do four colors. Uh, I would tell people to check their stash first. Great idea. All right. And then I'm just gonna add this to our next section. Okay, there you go. Perfect. And again, you're gonna start at the center and sew to the outside. Just works better that way. It really does. Now there's a little bit of a trick that we wanna to talk to you about. That's right. On ways to um, finish your uh, tree skirt. But the thing you wanna remember is you wanna leave these pieces open. not sewn. Right, because you need to wait to get it around the back of your tree. Right. Now there are lots of ways that you could finish your tree skirt. That's right. You have to decide, do you want to add some applique, maybe some ornaments right. or other applique shapes. Uh, you want to decide if your tree skirt should be quilted or not. Now if you choose the quilting option, you want to create a quilting sandwich using the circle top, batting, and we found wide backing yes. to be the best. Yes. All right, so whether you choose to quilt or not, the next step is binding. That's so right. So let's talk about that, Erica. Okay, and we've got one right over here that's already bound for us. Excellent. And let's take a look at that binding and talk about how we did that. Now again, we've left the back seam open. Right. So that we can go around our tree. Right. And because this is curved on the inside and the out, you'll want to use a bias binding so you've got that flexibility. And we've got lots of videos on how to cut bias binding on your strip die. So be sure to check those out on our website or our YouTube channel Correct. or even our Facebook page. Perfect. So you'll want to cut that bias binding, prepare it just like you normally would, and then you'll go ahead and start at the top here. Go ahead, bind all the way down around the outside and then come up the other side, go around the center, and you're done. It's perfect. And I do love the stripe binding. Right, so you probably would start about here so that you've got that space to right. go ahead, put those binding strips together. If you look really carefully, you can see where that is. Again, that's gonna be on the back of your tree. And then uh, we've just hand finished that here, or we've machine finished that here rather, and that would work just fine. Yeah, it's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Quilters, this is such a fun and easy project. Think about making this for gifts. Maybe your guild is having a Christmas swap. Oh, that's this a great idea. This is a great idea. idea. Or think about making matching tree skirts for your entire family. Well, that's fun. We have lots of applique dies to use as embellishments. And don't forget the free embroidery downloads for those applique dies at AccuQuilt.com. That's right. And be sure to share your finished projects with us on all of our social media platforms. Because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more.